Good Friday morning, everyone. Our weather, boy, it's been quite a roller coaster the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we had that spring-like weather. Temperatures surged near 60 degrees. And then the cold front came through, and temperatures have since been falling off here. We're now into those low 30s, checking in at 33 degrees. But we have a very gusty wind. Those winds have been very breezy the last 24 hours. So that wind this morning certainly adding more of a chill here. Looking at the current radar, we see those scattered snow flurries and snow showers. The radar definitely looks more like winter today. Uh, versus what it did just about oh, 18 hours or so ago. You can see those flurries, and those will be with us as we go throughout the day today very off and on. You can see those storms though that moved through yesterday. Just a quick recap here. You can see we had a couple reports of those wind gusts here from near parts of Van Wert over to Finley and a wind damage report near Upper Sandusky. Now overall we avoided severe weather. That's good but we still had those very gusty winds and now the gusty wind continues to bring in cool weather today with temperatures in the mid-30s and a very winter-like forecast with scattered snow flurries. Now overall this is not going to stick for the most part because the ground is warm and the snow is not falling all that hard but a few spots could get a light dusting at times as we go throughout the day you can see those pockets of flurries and snow showers with us and as we go into the evening there'll be a gradual tapering of the flurries and then we're fairly quiet overnight tonight and we're going to start to see the winds really slacking off too once we get past sunset and then looking at our saturday forecast nice and quiet tomorrow if you have any plans I expect mostly cloudy skies, and we're looking at highs in the middle 30s here. And then our next system will arrive late Saturday night. This should be mainly in the form of snow showers. Temperatures are not all that cold, but it will be cold enough that we will have light snow. And I do expect very light accumulations, too. So if you're heading out Sunday morning for any uh, church services or any errands, uh, we could have to deal with some slushy roadways. And then in the af afternoon here, as temperatures warm up, uh, we really should see that snow melt off the roads. And temperatures in those mid-30s with just a few more flurries around there. So again, we could see around an inch of snow Sunday. I think that an inch of snow is a pretty decent bet. Some models are a bit higher. So I would uh, certainly check back as we fine tune that forecast. So we'll get some light snow Sunday. And then it looks like that could just be the appetizer to a stronger storm next week. This is the European model. And of course, the track will mean everything we have a storm that's going to be developing near parts of Texas. It's going to have a lot of Gulf moisture with it. And, of course, those are the ones to watch that can obviously give us a much more noteworthy event. Now, some models, like the GFS model here, is a bit warmer with that storm. So it's going to really come down to the track. But if we get all snow, it could be a big snow system next week. So definitely need to keep our eyes on next week. But until then, again, this weekend, tomorrow we're dry. Sunday, I expect around an inch of snow with snow showers. And then again, we'll keep our eyes on Wednesday of next week. Hmm. You're rooting for that European model, aren't you? Yes, I That's am. That's the snow one. <laughs>